This is a houseboat, and owning it means you can live wherever you want. Look at this, it's just like an apartment. There's a stove. Oh, this is so cool. It comes with a blower, a marine control system, and a coffee maker. This costs so much less than an apartment, and if you don't like your neighbors, you can just float away. And we're here to see if I should turn in the keys to my personal apartment for a houseboat like this, and if it's possible to get seasick at the dinner table. Uh, it might be. And there goes the train. Oh cool, that's the ocean out there. It was a long train ride, over an hour, and that's because this particular boat is parked at a less expensive dock than what you might find in the financial center or over at Chelsea Piers. You could live at those too, but your docking fees would be higher. Okay, I see some boats, I see a full grocery store, and a gas station. And there's a shuttle bus. never been to a marina before. We got a ton of different boats up in here and several of them look like houseboats. Of course, ours is gonna be the coolest. That's why I'm so excited to see it. But we're definitely not the only ones who intend on living on the sea. That one looks more like a boat. But look at this one, that is a floating house, 100%. I could make that work. And the noisy seagulls are a nice change from the pigeons that you'll normally encounter in New York. Are seagulls secretly sea pigeons? Wow, you know your neighbor's rich when they got a two-story tiny house floating boat. That's pretty cool, I just wonder how easy it is to float away from your neighbors if you don't like them. It doesn't look as ocean worthy as where we're headed. Welcome to the James Franco, one of the coolest houseboats anywhere in New York City. You can stay here if you want. It's an Airbnb, I'll have the link at the end of the video. And as you can see, we've got this incredible roof deck here on the second floor. Now living here, it is definitely a quirky experience, but that's what's so fun and cool about it. The furniture may not exactly be from a luxury hotel, but it's got all the modern conveniences you'd expect, like this. I don't know what this is. It looks like a throne in an airplane. On the upper level, we've got power. And if you want, you could go fishing up here. That's what the neighbors are up to. And look at this, we do have a full kitchen with running water, so no issues there. Everything is 100% as it would be where you probably live right now. Maybe even better, since you can live wherever you want if you don't like your neighbors. Isn't this great? No matter where you are, you can walk outside and throw some steaks on a grill. That's fantastic. It's a nice little patio too. You're gonna have the best scenery that you can ask for because you can put this boat wherever you wanna go. What a great place to sit and eat your latest catch. I bet mainly fish gets cooked on this thing. Now that you're living in a houseboat, you gotta get used to eating what comes out of the sea rather than what might come off the land. That's how it's gonna be, buddy. I heard fish is healthier for you too. And if we walk around the side here, we can see we've got some surfboards in case an emergency wave approaches and you wanna hit it. This leads into the home office area. Don't worry, we're gonna check the entire thing out. I'm just curious what's around back here, okay? It's like a little porch that you don't really need with a thermal exhaust port, very small. Every Death Star has one. We've got some more boards on the other side. You could take this thing anywhere and have an absolute blast. As long as it's not inland. You'll also notice we've got our own power source here. Yes siree. Some of the lights are solar, but with water and electric, you're not missing anything. Oh, this is so cool. You're probably not supposed to flip these levers and drive this thing away from where you found it, but if you owned it, you could. Change that view anytime you want. It comes with a blower, a marine control system, and a coffee maker. Now, not only is this pretty cool, 
if you look up at the ceiling, there's stuff everywhere. Got some fishing poles. They look like they work. I see some water skis. And we have another board. Looks decorative though. I think it's partying days are over. But the living room's a good size. It's super easy to relax in here. No, my feet are not on the table. But I think this is going to be your dinner table, your coffee table, your everything table. It's basically across from where the food comes from over there in the kitchen. And look at all the cool stuff hiding everywhere. That looks like an old tape player. A statue of someone. Maybe the boat's former captain. This wonderful golden lobster. Oh, I gotta get one of those. Whoa, does the house have surround sound? It might. All of the decorations in here probably took years to assemble. Ditto the artwork. Over here we have a wheel from probably some other vessel. Looks like um, it doesn't work anymore. It's like a very homey, comfortable place to hang out. Definitely brighter than any apartment because we've got windows. There's light coming in from three different ways here in the living room. Plus the office slash den area has windows as well. Now the kitchen kind of matches the aesthetic of everything else in here. This stove looks very new. Look at that, super clean inside. I wish landlords in New York would watch this video and learn how to spruce up their apartments with coffee makers, toaster ovens. Look at all the room and counter space we've got in here. And we've got the stove with the chopping block next to it and the sink. On top of the fridge, we've also got ourselves a quaint little microwave and a nice stack of game day cups. That's what we'll call them. The sink itself is a really good size. Water pressure's solid. And there's lots of cabinets. Again, this is basically an apartment. It just floats and comes with this cool metal spatula. Got ourselves a ton of plates up in here, that's nice. And steak knives for filleting fish. This looks like it might be a bread knife. I'll just put this back, but it's a floating house. So cool. It even has a full-size refrigerator with the best barbecue sauce on the planet, the honey, sweet baby rays. This is the china cabinet. Ooh, look at all them spices. It even comes with a secret bottle of Chesapeake Bay right here. If you rent this place, you better cook. I bet your food will taste great. We've also got ourselves a pod coffee maker in the corner. Any other fun stuff in here? Okay, got some tools. Got some emergency coffee filters in there. And these beads right here are actually the door to the restroom. Look at that. It's got a full standing shower and it has a futuristic space age composting toilet. The flushes are not unlimited and you are able to carry this out when you leave. If you're on a long ocean voyage and you dock your boat somewhere, you can go in and let out all of your refuse. Oh, cool. This is extra shower accessories. Got the ironing board so you can get ready for the big ball. And I love the charmingness of this little bathroom sink. This is so cool. Was this a medicine cabinet? Okay, it's just the mirror from one, but that's what counts. We got the little shelf in here for your floss. There's a tiny little light. And look at these cute little drawers. The more time I spend in here, the more easily doable all of this seems. Plus, check this out. We got the best thing you can ever have. Q-tips. Use one a day. Oh, this is awesome. I could totally do Zoom calls from here. This is a better office than most people have. Got yourself a quaint little window, a printer that will drive you insane. There's even an old filing cabinet here with tools that you can use on your journey across the seas. Oh, this one's locked. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. We've also got ourselves some storage underneath the desk. There's this thing which you shouldn't touch because you don't know how it works. I don't think this is your Wi-Fi, so don't touch that either. And then over here we have I, what I think is the dead area. Complete with a Vogelzang. This looks like a real wood stove. If you're here in the wintertime, you are gonna be so comfortable. And what a nice little corner. You could set this up in your tiny apartment if you had a tiny apartment. There's also a built-in dresser down here. This is where we'll find extra beddings, extra sheets. Oh, didn't know the boat came with a husky. He's cute. Now already we have ourselves a separate living room combined with a kitchen, this den area, plus a home office, and we haven't even seen the living quarters. Those are actually up this tastefully decorated staircase on the second floor. I love how the non-stick elements of the staircase are grip taped from skateboards. Spitfire skateboards, who remembers them? Also, if you're doing something important in here and you want some privacy, oh. Oh, this is just decorative. I thought it would swing shut and close it off, but they're so far away, they're not gonna hear 
you on your Zoom call. Oh, this is so cool. Got a surfboard on the roof, and that is a nice big bed. It's also extremely soft and comfortable. People are coming here to stay here in like an hour, so I can't jump all over it. But if you rent it for yourself, that's something you get to do. You could also attempt to play some records on this super old school record player. I just love everything about this. All the character, all the little things that it has like this that you can't buy anymore. There's also an air conditioner up here, so if it's a little too hot for you, you can always adjust it. This is the heater for the winter time, and over here, we've got the nightstand in this corner we've got a walkie-talkie and some other things like binoculars and there's a guitar for singing the ocean blues but we've got some seating up here next to the staircase a TV for watching YouTube videos like mine now on this side we've got the ice cube wall who remembers these from 1985 if you're here and you're looking for the remote it's over by the hats in the corner and on the other side of this glass door this is where the deck is located and my New York City apartment which costs $4,200 a month not including my parking space that doesn't have two floors it's only one floor and it certainly doesn't have outdoor space like this and this staircase is actually really great it's solid it doesn't shake you're not gonna slip oh and if you're wondering how the toilet works this is how it works so here's the toilet it has some sort of cartridge based dry flush vacuum system Okay, is it over? No! There, now you know everything there is to know about this place. You can rent it via the link in the video description. Should I get one of these instead of living in an actual apartment? Well, I have a wife and two kids. Subscribe if you had fun. I'll see you in the next video.